strategy. Right, so I was gonna sell one rapier what? and my short bow. Hello. Hello. Only one. Hello. I can hear you now. Right, so yeah, I wanted to sell. Do I need to buy different arrows? You're good, Astrid. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Depends. Big bubble question mark. <laughs> right. I am going to sell to Miss Cobold Lady. Yes. Um, I want to sell <laughs> one one rapier and my short bow. Do you not say hello anymore, Kilbert? No. <laughs> <laughs> you... I'm so sorry to see you. Sorry to see you. A sword in my face. <laughs> you gave us dodgy potions. <laughs> right. Why? That wasn't me. That was a dark. The mischievous little <laughs> he was up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <coughs> dying. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, yeah. Um, I want to sell one rapier and one short bow. Uh, can you show me the rapier, please? I'm sorry, sorry, it's, it's one she sold me. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this rapier smell like it's been up a um a cobalt behind? Yeah, probably. <laughs> that's, definitely, that's definitely the inside of a cobalt. Um, I'm gonna have to reduce the price on this one. You didn't even clean it. I ain't, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> we give it an iron in the sea. At least gave it a little bit of a swat. Do you want to? You wish to Sorry. sell the rapier? Yeah, one rapier and a short bow. Oh. Rapier originally cost 25. I will um, take the rapier back, but I only want to give you 15 for this one. I'm going to have to clean this and give it a good polish. Yeah, that's fine. And the short bow? And the short bow, um, hmm. That is a good condition, actually. Um, Just trying to find the bloody price of it. There it is. Um, will you take 20 gold pieces, second hand? Yeah, that's fine. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Uh, do you <laughs> Do you have a hand crossbow? A hand crossbow? I do indeed. Hmm. I think 75 gold pieces. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> How much is the ammunition? That was the question. Well, the ammunition is arrows. <laughs> so I don't need to buy any. I've got loads. You've got loads? Okay. They can't yeah. buy the price of the arrows, haven't they? There is one. I think you just sort of make it up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, if you want something to go off, you could go off of what you're most used to, and that would be two, uh, two per arrow. What's that? Like the old BG rules. Uh, oh, a gold. Two. Two, two gold to an arrow. 40 for one, wouldn't it? One gold piece, wouldn't it? Or was it 20? I yeah. thought it was like 40 for one gold, sorry. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. Two, two, two for one, so. Right. But I think I'm good. I've got like 20, so. It's all right then. Are you happy with all your purchases? Does anybody else want to buy us, I would think? 
I think I would like to sell something. I've got two diamonds and a crystal. Can I sell that? Hmm. Hmm. Show me. Show me. Show me. How much? How much? One for these. How much? I want a lot. Mm -hmm. Two hundred. How much? Okay. Um, fifty. How much are they? I can't remember the prices now. But how much were they written down for each one? Um, it says 50. 50. 50, yeah. 50 per diamond. Yeah. And you so want to two, sell diamonds, two diamonds and one crystal, and crystal is 10. Okay. And diamonds are I'll, I'll, I will give you 110 gold pieces. Hmm. <laughs> They're in good condition. Yes. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. 110. Do you want to sell anything else? Actually, I'll buy three. The one. Why am I just uh, I, I I have uh, eight of these strange mushrooms here. Um, you might want to speak to Tarek about mushrooms. But he doesn't have any money. Ah, uh, but he likes to make elixirs. Of yeah, the last elixir made me shit fireballs. That was Zark! Zark made the poo-poo! I don't care who made the poo-poo, I who made fireballs. I made a potion that gives you energy and power, but Zark put in a little then bit of spice. Then you should give me money for compensation for us roasting everyone alive. And sorting I mean, some fun guy people you, as well. You need to to the lawyer. I'll speak to the my I... lawyer. Wait, what's a lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> There's always a lawyer somewhere. Uh, well, where, where is this Tarik guy? Uh, I need to speak to him. Yeah, so. Tarik's playing with his plants. He's playing with his plants. Go and speak to him. Step at the front. You know where he is, Tarik? <laughs> Tree, do you want to buy anything? Actually, did you did you want to buy anything after yourself? No, I don't think so. No? Okay. Take the money and run. <laughs> Tree farm. Oh, uh, uh, I will need to buy something afterwards, but I'm not sure you have the money to actually buy anything. Is there oh. any anything better? Uh, uh, oh, hold on, wait, I teleported somewhere. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Your next <laughs> I'm confused. Where is it? Oh, what's it? What's it? Everyone's going everywhere, really. What's going through? <laughs> Kill those still sunbathing. Just, 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 just imagine I'm in the right place. Um, uh, do you, do you have anything uh, better than uh, chainmail? Do you, do you want to buy from Myla? Yeah, well, like Devon's asking Milo if she has any armor um, better than I. I do. Sort of sea salted chainmail. I can still use splint mail, but splint mail is two hundred gold pieces. <laughs> two hundred. When I've been shitting fireballs for myself here. Hmm. You can try and like what's the word? Um. Persuasion, maybe. I don't know. If you feel charisma is good. You might. Yeah. I, I think intimidation would be more inclined at the moment. He's very distraught that he's been. He's got a hole in his britches from <laughs> farting a fireball. <laughs> but it wasn't me. It was Zark. Yeah, I, then you take it up with Zark. Get the. I got the Zark. issue with Zark. You got the issue with the farts. Yeah. No, uh uh. Let me remind you, you are the one who supplied the potion. If you it knew it was famous... us, then you should not have given us the potion. Intimidation. It is, <laughs> it is a famous scene in the Cobalt community. He who smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> and you dealt it! <laughs> so, no, can I do an intimidation? <laughs> if, if you want to. Let's do it, let's do it. 19. <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over this little girl. <laughs> Come on. You are going she, she, to give me the armor in exchange, and you will take the money from Zar. Is that clear? Zark's oh, not him. He's not a chicken. Yes, yes, yes. Likely excuse. Sort of gets out of his like half like, rusted, sea sorted armor, like frozen. <laughs> I will do you a deal. Because you're such a nice knight, which I don't think mm. anymore, Mr. Righteous. <laughs> if you sell me your current armor mm. for 70 gold pieces, I will sell you this one for 100. So you can just give me 100. What's this one? 100. Because you've got you've a 19. She's willing to change <laughs> a lower rate. But she wants your chainmail plus a hundred. The chainmail plus a hundred. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, chainmail plus fifty because it's you rolled a high, and spin mail two hundred. Let's take that down. That's a seventy-five chainmail. Yeah, that was about hundred gold pieces. Right. That's fair. Fifty <laughs> plus the chainmail. All right, so. The fun sort of drops the, the chainmail and her arms, and then yeah. on top of it, a bag of 50 gold as well. Oh, oh that's heavy. With one silver, like, he just sort of like balances <laughs> on top as well, just for good measure. Because he feels Thank bad. You. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm sorry, but thank you. <laughs> I will deal with Zark. <laughs> <laughs> so, you happy with your exchange? Well, Everything you've done? Yeah. Are <laughs> you happy with everything she's got? <laughs> I think that if you're here, if you've got issues, I can't see your camera. I've, I've not heard you speak, so I don't think you've got a connection issue. Can you see me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't see her. I can't see her. Can't see her apparently I've just got her avatar. You can see myself. We can see. And Kilgo, are you all good? Oh, uh, my phone, maybe. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> if you're intrigued again what she sells, obviously it's the weapons, armor. She also sells like rations, rope, shields. Does she sell she anything of magical matches, nature? Ah, oh, right. So quivers, sorry. Quivers is one gold piece or 20 arrows or 20 bolts. What did you just ask me? Uh, does she have anything of a magical nature? Weapon-wise or other? Of magic nature? Yes. Like a magical rapier of plus one damage or... <laughs> No, there's no magical weapons or no plus weapons. It's all your bog standards. This place is bullshit. I'm Cody water, <laughs> disguise kits, oil, lock, lanterns. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm good then. That's it, yeah. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. I do oh. need something. I require... So, Tarek... Uh... Oh, done. Uh, yep. Eh. Eh. Nah, fuck it. No, nope, no, I changed my mind. Tarek, I'm going to beat him up. as my gold <laughs> bitch. So, where do you all wish to go now? You want to speak to Tarek first off? Yeah. <laughs> So you keep telling. Oh, welcome back, adventurers. I'm just going to put in charge. So I've now lost the camera now as well. There we go. Can't see which door, do you? Not see which door. Ah, welcome back. I hope you managed to achieve your goals in the cave. Yes. And have you think 
it's sorted. Did you? What was the issue in the caves in the end? There was a fire crystal, which had a fire serpent, and some other dudes. <laughs> what were they called? It sounds <laughs> terrible. Like smoky snake How things. Is... Dum, 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 dum. Uh, a fire snake. Yeah. A snake drink. And how is Sinensa? Uh, yeah, he's good. Good. Much better now. Good. And they appreciated the food offerings? Yes. Uh, and they gave us these mushrooms. And I'll hide up my ruby mushroom. Uh, I can do some good things with these. We'll get cracking while you tell me how uh, where your fortune is. I don't have fortune, sir. My fortune mm -hmm. started internally after I left the feed life and found rest upon Dragon's Rest, where Renama took me in, gave me shelter and comfort. And now I rebuild my life. Yeah, but you hid your gold first. <laughs> there is no gold for me, sir. Just rehabilitation. And I hope you find a path of life as well. Rehabilitate my foot up your ass in a minute. Also... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're not too short of gold as well, sir. It looks like you've been very fortunate lately. So if anybody wants to give their Ruby Morales to Tarek while you're there, he can <coughs> knock up a little concoction for you all. While he's doing that, Kilbo is literally standing over him going, where's the Sovereign's Ransom? Because you took it. <laughs> You killed your partner and you took it. Don't lie. It's not nice to lie. <laughs> Remember you're repenting. <laughs> you're repenting. You're meant to be a good man now. Where's my damn gold? <laughs> it's guild gold. As you... <laughs> oh. oh, I can't click and drag. Come on, computer. Okay. <laughs> let me click and drag. Oh no! <laughs> Every time I click on it, it does a like a left click, like a right click function. Have you accidentally inverted your mouse? That's exactly Wait, that's what I just thought. <laughs> I just double looking. I just went and like, "Shut <laughs> So everybody. Oh, Tarek's knocking these up. He quickly Ow. knocks together a new one, but he gives you exchange an Alexa of health each to add to your inventories as he takes the Ruby Morales and starts working on them for future. So as an exchange, he gives you a Alexa of health. Oh, I need one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll need them for future, but I have eight. Uh, mushrooms. Oh, you got the other mushrooms, the ones that cost. Um... <laughs> you got the money ones as well. Uh, 30 gold yeah. each. That, I've got 12 of those and I've got 8 of the other ones. Because they were around. Ruby the, the rubies are just exchanged for the potion. But the other ones are money, so I, he can buy the ones off you, the other ones. Okay. Um, How much of them ones? Uh, I got one. thirty gold each. Because you've got them spore ones, didn't you? That you can breathe into your mouth and it lets you breathe underwater. Yeah, those ones. Yeah. Well, that's in the wrong place. So, if anybody wants to sell all of them, they can. Um, just remove them for your thing and add the responding amount. Into your gold 
Carrick will buy their locks. We can use them. But if you want to keep them, they do allow you to breathe underwater. So you, whether you keep one spare or you sell the locks, that's you. I sell the locks. How they last? I think what perishable was. Yeah, you'll get, um, you'll get, you'll, you'll get, effect wise. You'll get a, you'll get a month, a month out of these. All right, so at last. All right, um, and how long does the effect last? The... It was one hour underwater, I think. Yeah, I think that's what you said. Okay, and how many of them did we have each? Everyone picked differently. You got to, you have to roll a dice to see how many you um, cut out. Everyone got a different amount. Remember getting low for something. So if you if you want to sell them all, um, feel free to delete them from your inventory and add the correct gold pieces back. Carrick will take them, and it also is giving you a, an elixir of health each as well. If everyone's done that. Give me the thumbs up. To make your way towards the temple. Now I want my damn money. Yes. <laughs> yes. How how much do you get for All right, so twelve of the money mushrooms, that's three times twelve, isn't it? That's so thirty. Ten. Yeah, but if you times it by three and then I add the zero. Um, so three thirty six three hundred and sixty. Really? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm glad I got more of those ones than the others. <laughs> um, yeah, one. Well, all right. Yeah, I'll sell all those. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Delete them from your thingy. Add them onto while your he's, money. While he's working, can I investigate his little workshop thing? Four oh five. You can look, look around. Yeah. I'm looking for any hidden can compartments know, because, <laughs> going to my little story, this. Fuck her some gold. Right. <laughs> oh, that's a nat 20. Yeah, you're trying to get the money. <laughs> More <than> my money. <laughs> that's, that's a nat <laughs> 20. Nat 20 plus 3. So this, there is no money in that in that room. And um, so your push up packet protection? Uh, 12. You know that everything that Tarek has said to you is true, that he gave away all his possessions, all his money and gold. To who? To the island, to Runara. He right, so just she's Runara got now. my money then. Okay, bye. <laughs> 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 Where's my money, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> my, my whole reason for being here. I'm going to get it. <laughs> Ashra, are you there? Yep, she's there. She's there, but her mic stopped working again. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, oh, no. I can't see her or hear her. Hello. Um, is it me you're looking for? There she is. Ding, ding, ding. I think. Yeah, there we go. My Discord came up a warning on your picture and it said unstable connection for you. So then I overrided it and you came on. Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So, you walk up to the temple, everybody. Yay. She's right to the top. That's what she said. <laughs> it is a priestess. Priest. It? Yes. And you see Elder Runawa. Kilbo teleported in anger. <laughs> <laughs> As you approach, Elder Renata says, I have something to show you. 
There's a flash, like a, the silent stroke of lightning, and the human woman is gone. In her place, you see an enormous dragon with bronze-coloured scales. Now you see me as I truly am. Tilts her head with an expression that might be a smile on the scaled face. As you have discovered, the Highland has many old wounds, and I'm afraid the cycle of violence is starting again. I have one more favour to ask you. What would that be? So you, Runaro is like this, um... Can I open up this with my computer as well? So you can actually see the... pictures I was given. So Kilbo's just gonna go, holy shit, a dragon! <laughs> <laughs> So she is huge and powerful. And now you all sort of realise when you kept feeling its presence and you were ever watching, it was. It was. <laughs> Renara was constantly watching. <laughs> Kevin's dying. This is that. This quickly. <laughs> Sorry. I can hear myself again. Where's Mimbani then, you skaggy bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Kill them, you are a cheeky chappy. I think your pockets have done very well so far. That's not the point. There's a reason I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so, on your Discord, I'm going to drop in. Uh, oh, Hello, Dragon. How does it drag on? Drag on. There's me, um. That's all the coal bolts we killed last week. Oh, there's a lot of them, aren't <laughs> there? There's the fire snake. Uh. No, I've just realised when I, when I open up the, uh, the chat for the, um, for the call, it comes up on the, on the, dis, uh, on the recording over my pictures, I'm just like showing people it's the weird oh. things and the, the the and the mushroom people. Uh, there's a map. <laughs> Here's some stuff that hasn't drive. loaded. There we go. So this is this is Runaba in all her giantness standing in front of you. Vaughn's like down on one knee, like let into your son, like, and hey, what would you have us do? <laughs> Realizing that she's a dragon. So, if you remember the story before about the, um, the battle between the dragons on this island, um, she t tells you that there's a wormling. My friend. Adron came to the island a few months ago and he was studying with me at Dragon's Rest. Five days before your arrival, he had an argument with myself and angrily rejected the teachings of peace and stormed away from the cloister. I fear he's gone to the observatory on the southeast of the island where there is another dragon who's currently resting there. I suspect him to feel evil has arisen. I can't leave there myself just yet. I can't open the old wounds past. She reaches down to the floor. She picks up this. It's like a key from a distance. This is the Moonstone Key. Made, funny enough, a Moonstone. The dragon's head on one end and the hexagon on the end is a special key. You will need this to access the observatory. Who can I trust not to lose this? Uh, that would be me then. <laughs> you are an honest and noble man, Kilbo. She hands you this, moon, this um, moonstone key. 
which is the key to the observatory. <laughs> Just weighing it up. Mm, yes, that will sell. <laughs> <laughs> Brunava stops and pauses and looks. And in your head, you hear her talk to you. There is no value to this key. Gilbert. No one else here, else is, it, no one else is that. It's just you in your head. Oh, she hears back in my head. It's what you fucking think. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear her go. <sighs> Followed by, where's Tarek's gold? <laughs> you hear, Tarek left the life of thieves. Thieves many years ago. He's doing a great job on this island now. I do know that once he did bury some gold in the sands somewhere. I'm not even sure if he remembers himself now where. It's been a while. <coughs> so again, you, you just hear that. That maybe somewhere on the island there is some stash gold that he no longer associates with. I curse the name of Tarek. <laughs> <laughs> if you could make your way to the observatory, I'll be eternally and forever thankful. And so will Dragon's Rest. And where is the observatory? So, you would need to make your way to the south east of the island. I think somewhere on there I did drop a map, didn't I? I don't know when that was. I might I'll drop that? another map again. Just so you can see roughly where it is. I will try and drop a map there for you. There for you. But you know roughly where it is now, don't you? Those ones. Not there, where are we? No, that one. Got a lot of maps in there. Good to think they were clean. <laughs> okay, so how would you like to get to Dragon's Rest? Do you recommend you can walk, walk there? It's about seven miles, so you can do it easily. In a day, it's a bit uphill, a bit mountainous, some parts, but very doable. I'm used to that. We can walk. <laughs> You're walking. You you Said he to play the good instruments, nerdy tunes. <laughs> so the most. The most, uh, what's it, artistic singing person I think I've heard in the group so far actually was Tree, the fighter elf, if I remember right, who made out a couple of love songs for those zombies. Um, <laughs> Tree, would you like to inspire the party on their walk to the observatory with a um, powerful song of encouragement or morale boosting? Maybe just a hum if your if your throat's sore. Maybe a little hum. Mm -hmm. yeah. Early in the morning. What song is that? <laughs> London Bridge. Uh, oh no, yeah. No, 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 no that London was not Bridge. London Bridge. That, yeah, that was and, uh, what you're having now. Yeah. I thought you were the London Bridge. Early in the morning. Early in the morning is a different tune. Yeah. So roll your um. Which one, Pat? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, postman Pat. Postman Pat. Yeah. Postman Pat. Postman Pat. Postman Pat. Postman Pat. And it's back in white cap. <laughs> Everybody, roll it. Roll a D twenty. Oh, okay. I mean, it might. I think most people have got this already now, anyway. That's. Um, that's. 
What is everybody rolling on? But look, three rolled. Oh, three just rolled a nat twenty. Right, three. You gain inspiration. <laughs> so on your shit, if you take inspiration, what that means, if everyone remembers, um, when you roll, you say use inspiration. You can roll twice and pick the highest score. So it's, it's like um, get it's like getting a d twenty, get, getting the highest score. You can roll advantage with your inspiration whenever you choose to use it. But you already have inspiration. Does that mean you have two inspiration? No, it doesn't. It doesn't oh, stack inspiration. Oh. Um. So everyone's got inspiration now, anyway. So you're all inspired. So in the future, if if you want to, you can use that as, as an advantage. Might be handy in some battles. Maybe like yeah, one of the battles you might want to really hit, and maybe you've had a couple of bad rolls. Use your inspiration, pick the highest score. Um, it's a bit of a safety net. Kilbo gets it when you're close to the person anyway, luckily. But it might be useful in the final parts. So, Ashley's lucky shed inspiration already, because that was a eight. So everybody makes their way on foot to the wonderful singing of tree. What a... Uh... There we go. Let me know if it all loads up for everybody. Oh, trees. Trees. Yeah. You feel that Oh, trees. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I just realised. There's no people there. So, it's on your walk, let's just see if everyone appears. There we go. Is everybody seeing their characters? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely jobby. So, on your march to Postman Pat and his black and white cat, you walk through this foresty area. Um, Three fields, very at peace here. This seems to be like a safety net. There's broken tree, the trees now. You climbing the tree? <laughs> giving it a hug. It's tree hugging. <laughs> what do people want to do in the area at the moment? Um, before people, let me just quickly wake up. Okay. A discordant sound, half a growl, half a piercing screech rips through the air. Abruptly, a hulking creature comes into view. A mix of purple feathers, deep brown covers its bear like body. And its large eyes stare hungrily at you from its owlish head. So, at a moment, <laughs> at the moment, in the distance, you can see this. It's not currently aware of you. Um, Even though, like, the one's literally just shouted from the top of his lungs. <laughs> if you choose to shout now, um, nah. did you shout? <laughs> no, no, he didn't. No, no. He was uh, just being funny. Um, so, it was just. He's not that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, there is an owl bear in the distance. So at the moment, you're, you're all quite, if you all go too close, then you um, obviously will alert his attention. But it seems to be sort of just like sniffing around the floor at the moment, looking for food. So I'd say you'd probably want to be over 50 foot away um, before it um, might be done by Ashley's bed. I said that, that tracking. Um, it's sort of like, scared now. Stiff in the floor, and it just makes these little random noises every so often. Um, so the owl bear is aware that you're there now. Oh, I'm really echoing back. Um, but it's not enough for it to be like wanting to attack at the moment or do anything. It's 
or where you're there. It's just um, carry on with your job. It's aware that you're in the distance. Trees hugging a tree. Um, Kilway looks like he's hiding company. Stealthy, stealthy, stealthy. Stealthy. Well, now I see it. Okay. Uh, so you can try and sneak up, sneak up to the Albel, Albel, the Albear, and have a closer look if you wish to. Um, obviously, you don't get too close. Who has um, a nature skill higher than zero? <laughs> I have plus one, but I, I just think we just need to. Is it in the way or is it? What? Well, well it, who knows? How, who knows what they eat? <laughs> no, I'm from the city. I've never really been outside the city walls before. So, what do people want to do? They want to observe. Are any of you um because at the old stealthy stealthy to get close or animal group of animals or I've got um like animal handling but I don't know if I'm mm. willing to go and handle it right now. <laughs> mm. I feel like maybe now's not the time. Let's go and give it a pet. <laughs> so it's just walking up and down nudging things, pacing around. I'm going still around the areas. What if we all make that noise that people do at cats? Like... I have a 25 in stealth. I am a bush. <laughs> we have Quiet. anything to feed it. <laughs> so as he walks, no as he starts approaching up, <laughs> To the branch. Kilbo. Um, you notice <laughs> a small wooden whistle hanging around the owlbear's neck. Well, I'm not going to go toot it. So does anybody want to do maybe like a History check on the whistle or something, or maybe like maybe not investigation. Can't touch it just yet, but maybe one of you might have an idea of what this whistle does. Maybe tree for animal handling recognizes it. Could I use animal handling for this? Yeah. If you um first roll your wisdom, my wisdom, your wisdom check, wisdom check first, yeah. Is that the one that's at the top? Yes. I got yeah, 14. Okay, so you know that this whistle um, was manufactured by man and it's a training aid. It's been used to control beasts like this. Um, How big is it? Is it bigger than me? Yes. Yes. So imagine a a big brown bear but with an owl's head, lots of feathers, and the feathers you know, make it look puffy as well. I f I thought I was mishearing you when you said owl bear. Oh, <laughs> no, it actually yeah. it actually is an owl bear. <laughs> it is an owl bear. Um, what I can do is let's have a little look. I will drop your picture onto the Discord now. So you can actually see it. That is what you're dealing with. Okay. So yes, three you can see that the Albert has a whistle on its neck, and it's used to control the beast. Um, I'm wondering if there's a way I could try and get the whistle off. Oh, well, that's really yes, fun. So. <laughs> so Obviously, the whistle is grabbable. You would need to succeed on a stealth check to get within five foot and then a strength check to pull the whistle off. 
Yeah, so I can't use the animal handling unless I try to do some crocodile jumping shit. Like... Yeah, so the animal handling would work in combination with the whistle. Okay. Just need to get the whistle first. <laughs> yeah, so if you're in five foot, the owlbear will attack unless you can pass the spell check and, and then get what, the whistle what off. About, what, about, what about a... Uh... An invigorating dance using athletics. <laughs> <laughs> Even did, though it would you... sound clunky in a suit of armor. <laughs> that's that's my you... head was thinking. It's like a clunky noise of like, tin cans around in the background. It's distraction, maybe. Did you want me uh, to sort can... of stealth? I've got a, <laughs> I've got a little green symbol on my stealth bit that says advantage. So. You have got oh. the shoes of elven kind, which means you can walk anywhere without being heard. All right, I'll do that then. On any service as well. A kind oh. gift by Kilbo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Are so you... So at the moment, Kilbo is hidden, but Astrid is not. And if the owlbear walks towards Astrid, it would be in that five-foot radius. So if you want to... You can still freely move, actually, at the moment. We're not in fight mode, so you, you can freely move if you What well, if, if you I, I move away from the tree? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you... where, where are you? Okay, yeah. So, uh, sort of like, Devan sort of points to the opposite direction to him and Kilbo to sort of like flank around. <laughs> it's like doing symbols to flank around. <laughs> so the owlbear so Devan you roll your spell check first Three, you can approach the owlbear if you wish well, to it is a thing like Devan can't stealth he's at a disadvantage wearing the armour right and he remembers the caves and he's having flashbacks so instead <laughs> of like trying to be quiet he's not thinking I'm going to be quiet or loud he's just thinking I'm going to try and be sensual. <laughs> I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and... I'm going to, I'm going to try and... Um, what, what is it? <laughs> what I was trying to work out was, if you're trying to do a distraction like you said earlier with your dance, a foul stealth check yeah. would make a noise that the owlbear would look up. You're too far away for it to want to attack, which would give Trini advantage on her strength. She has to do. Oh, okay. Uh, to join do it right. Stealth, if you'd rather. I was going to say I could do it with the athletics, which is plus five, but I'll do it with a stealth, which is minus one. Well, you, weirdly enough, this one fading well, the stealth check from a fading the stealth check from a distance would create the noise destruction in combination with three. Sure. And she can roll the advantage on the strength twelve. So the owlbear looks up, can hear that you looking and dancing. What kind of dance are you doing? <laughs> Show us your dance I moves. Really, I, 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 oh, come on. That's not really possible. Up a uh, body. Just, come on. I want to see what the arms are doing. I don't know. All right, just imagine, just imagine, just imagine an orangutan doing the hula. I can't imagine <laughs> that. I, I need to see that. I need, I I need to see that. I would love to be able to visually show you, but I can't do that physically. Just, just, just the arms. Just the arms. Just the arms. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so the violence really, really concentration face <laughs> So the elbows are oh. mm. <laughs> three, if you roll your strength um check. Now you've got the advantage on this anyway, without your inspiration, so you can roll twice on this. Ah, oh, where's my strength? Oh there you go. Um, so I roll it twice. Yeah, we'll pick the higher number. Oh, that's good. Pick the higher one. That's even better. 18. I was, was going to say, I thought, oh, please don't roll like seven and the two. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, you, you have the strength. You reach round as the elbow is looking at this. You pull <laughs> the the neck, um, whistle off its neck and it's now in your hand. Nice. So, now roll well, your... Um, Animal handling. Uh, 
This is now your attempt to blow into the whistle. Oh no. <laughs> Who do you want to use your inspiration? Did I just use my inspiration or could I use it more than once? That was, you know, you had an advantage on that one. Yeah. You can, you, you um, can use your inspiration. Okay. Let's do that. Oh god. <laughs> I, I, need a, I need a 10. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and my hands, yeah. So she blows into the whistle to use uh, her Anna Landolin skills. So oh, no. <laughs> to see if she could like take it from being unsure and the hostile looking to being calm. So she blows into the whistle like a it should be this. That's the thing she wanted with her animal handling skills, but it comes out. So it's kind of like... Was I supposed to hear noises then? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> it, it cuts you off because you go too loud. Oh, it uh, should have been. Nope, still too loud. No. Nope. <laughs> only dogs can hear you, I guess. Well, I'm moving away from the phone. <laughs> Speakers with the ears. Wait. <laughs> 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 Okay. Imagine a really nice whistle. Yeah. It, <laughs> it come out like this. Alright. So the owl, the owl bear sort of... Cold. <laughs> yeah. The owl bear sort of jumps and shifts around in like a bit of a spin. As it's not quite sure what is what is, what is going on. So between... Between Devon doing a weird, a weird dance, mating ritual, I guess, is turning into uh, by the noise it made, but um, not distracting enough. <laughs> so the, your destruction worked perfectly, and Tree now does have the whistle. I mean, um, someone else could have a go, as I seem to be useless today. <laughs> What I will do, I will make three rolls, and if it scores a certain number, um, the owlbell, owlbell, the owlbear will attack. If not, you can try and calm it, or you can try and get away from it. Um, ideally, in the calm state. So I'll do my first roll. What am I doing? Right. You can. So every time you do a, a test on the whistle to get it to work, I'm going to rock counter roll after. Okay. And it was a seven, so it's still not attacking. So you okay. could try your wisdom one more time. I got a seventeen. Okay, so your whistle works perfectly, and the owl bell, oh, it's an owl bear, um, calms and looks at you like an owl bear. <laughs> Peacefully and settled. Can I pet it? Yeah. He approaches you, stands next to you, and sort of oh. nudges you a little bit. Okay. And he seems to be very okay. at ease with you. Okay. I give it a little scritch on the head. Meanwhile, the one is just sort of sighing in relief that it wasn't the matching ritual he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, the so, well, purpose of this one was how you deal with the Albear. It could have been conflict, but you've managed to calm it in time. So, you, there's nothing else to explore in this area. This is obviously the territory of the Albear, where it feels most at home. Um, so you can actually leave the area as and when you wish. There's nothing to explore here. Oh, do I not get to bring it with us? So you you would try to make the Albert leave, but it just sort of digs its feet in and then starts looking for its hostile again. So um, it's made this area's home, it feels safe here. The whistle um, does calm it, but it doesn't want to leave the area. But it doesn't want to fight or kill you either. Ah, oh, well, made a friend. So, yeah, for any time you return to this area with that whistle, this owlbear will always be good to you. 
next. I'm assuming we're calling it Al Bell. <laughs> Al Bell. Can whoever Bell. you wish. Oh, oh, old Bell. <laughs> old Bill. <laughs> old Bell. <laughs> old Bell. <laughs> Bell. What's Hang on, I t I'll type. I'll, I'm going to type it. <laughs> Oh, very fancy. <laughs> Old Bill. Fancy. <laughs> Old Bill. <laughs> no, imagine a Western. Oh yeah, good yeah. Old Bell. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, that's how I'm hearing it in my head. <laughs> Old Bill. <laughs> so if, if you want to say your goodbyes to Old Bell. Yeah. You can continue your journey through. All right. It defines oh, oh. more movement. Boy. <laughs> Bye. I'm guessing we're going this way. So as you walk away, the Alpel follows you tree to its point of its territory. And then no oh, more cute. waits and watches you carry on. So you all arrive. <laughs> to the Clifftop Observatory. And I just want to drop this in for you, because this is the images they made for the Clifftop Observatory for you, just so you get an idea. Just so you get an idea. No, good enough. In your Discord, you should see an image up here. So, clambering over the rocky ground of Stormwreck Isle, you spot strange, twisted protrusions of glassy crystals jutting from the earth. The vegetation in this area bears reddish, reddish branching scars that form similar shapes. Suddenly, you hear a screeching roar. You notice a wing moving blue shape through the overhead. Reminds you very similar to the very first. So I'm hearing myself coming back through someone swinging. Um, a big blue thing coming over the sky in the very first one near the ships that shadow passed over. It's the same oh, as yeah. that. It's big. Okay. Then a <laughs> noise in the distance echoes through. And it flies off towards a big tower in the distance. What's everybody's reaction to this noise and this big blue flappy thing? Is that the worm? Yeah. There better be some gold in this. Wear <laughs> down. Just fucking... Let's go! <laughs> Is that a bottle of wine? <laughs> Starts walking forward. <laughs> I won! <laughs> wait, wait, how do we get off this cliff? Where's the observatory? <laughs> so all these sort of where the varnish, all these scul sculpted vegetations, um, you can like check them as well if you wish to. Um, if you do a nature check. With that sort of stuff, you can roll a nature check. Okay. Nine. Nine. Can I? Anyone else want to? Yeah. Um, yeah, look on the floor good. for any disturbed dirt. Disturbed dirt. Potentially. Yeah, look on the floor. Where some pricks buried me treasure. Right. Um, <laughs> what do you want? Uh, investigation? Yeah, where are you investigating? Uh, oh, never mind. I'd over on five. Um, so you have, you noticed uh, um, yeah. some pathways and bits of dirt and rubble, scorched vegetation in that area, but you don't find anything else. <laughs> Does anyone else want to do a nature check on that vegetation? I did. It was 16. 
16. Okay. So you know that the vegetation that was destroyed um, shows signs of lightning strikes. And you know that the breath of a blue or bronze dragon can produce lightning. So this dragon that you saw flying across, um, you can tell everybody this, that this dragon you just saw is a lightning dragon. By the damage it's caused. Everybody, to. lightning dragon. Kilwell looks up, looks at everyone who's wearing chain mail or plate or um, <laughs> metal armor and just goes, ah, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by the bed of wood? It's split mail. Right. I, you, you misunderstand. It's made of metal. <laughs> clang, 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 clang. Ah, yeah, the voice sounded a bit strange. <laughs> so, a broken, overgrown path winds to the edge of the cliff. Uh, the overlook is marked by two marble statues, veined with gold, each carved in the shape of a dragon with its mouth open in a silent roar. So like a... There's two side by side. Hmm. 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 Um. I'm going to tap the gold. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Oh, wait. Uh, investigation. It's a zero, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> so it just looks at sta- stares at the like statues. Hmm. 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 So you're checking to feel by your tapping. They are solid. The investigation shows that there is his. I can't talk to my. There is a pattern inside the mouth like a shape yeah, it's bad inside at the, the base mm. <laughs> yeah so at the base of this statue is a the hexagonal um, indentation ow I'll put the key in <laughs> so Kilbo has got the key so he places the key in as you place the key in you hear a Can you hear that? Might have been no. that reason. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a whirring noise and like a sink building up and you see this light bridge suddenly you're falling between the two. Second. Was that better? Can you see that? It appeared. Yeah. Yeah. You a light bridge has appeared right in front of you. I removed the key. You moved the key. Yeah. So you remove the key. The bridge disappears. Ah, okay, just checking. I'll put the key back. <laughs> <laughs> the key. Oh, oh no. I'm there. The key kicks back in, and you see the bridge. Do nothing. Did it appear again? Not yet. Oh, no. So there it is. Hey, the bridge reappears back. So that key needs to stay, or at least for now, get across in the location that you've put it. So do you dare to walk across the bridge? And do you stop Kilbo not to pull the key out and you walk across? Come <laughs> 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 on, I ain't going first. Kilbo, you go first. <laughs> 
Now, nah, Kilbo's going to just go wandering over. So you're walking across the bridge onto the isolated sort of observatory island bit where yep. you saw the dragon fly into the high tower opposite as well. Yeah. So as you can you that's fog a while still on it in one second. There we go. Is everybody gonna follow Kilbo as well or are they waiting back? What's everyone's position as you approach this? What do people wish to do? What do people wish to do? The one's is hard one with a bottle of wine in his hand. <laughs> So as you get into this bit, broken stones line this plaza. Fragments of elegant statues, once magnificent pillars and shining marble walls. At the centre, a tall sculpture of rusted planets and gilded stars spin idly in a jerky mimicky, mimicry of celestial motion. A gargled screech suddenly rises from across the plaza. A half dozen bat-like creatures are swarming around. Two winged kobolds with blue paint smeared across their long snouts. The kobolds are fighting fiercely, but they seem close to being overwhelmed. Cool. I'm going to watch until the kobolds die. <laughs> so the, the, there were two kobolds in the distance. I don't, now, I don't know if you remember ages ago about... Um, a while ago when we first met Myla she mentioned she got her wings damaged two kobolds oh, yeah. that were her brothers oh yeah um, so what do people wish to do are you going to watch the kobolds fight or will you help or will you fight everybody or what's people's decisions Hmm. Well, they've got blue paint on their face, so I'm assuming they're corrupted. Uh, but we'll, I suppose we'll save them and kill the bat things first. So, if everyone is in agreement. Does anybody agree with Kilbo? Oh, At the moment, it's disturbing. Which one is that? What's that, Ashford? Which ones are bad? Which ones do we want to kill? Everyone? Probably. <laughs> okay. The, the kobolds are fighting those sturges, six of them, which you've, you know the sturges are not good because they're not bad or good, but they're animals. They want to drink blood. Um, the kobolds are like, Wah! but they're occupied on these people at the moment. So you can either fight everybody or you can just kill the kobolds. They have to fight Sturges or kill the cope Sturges. <coughs> so between the party, what do you wish to do? Kilbell said to help the Kobolds, but party makes him have to decide. Tree says she'll do what she's told. Conquer. We decide to kill. We must kill the others first. It sounds very logical to kill the bad things first. So if everybody <laughs> can the Kobolds afterwards if we need to. <laughs> If you're all happy with your decisions, then you can roll for initiative. Okay. Not the bad things. One. If <laughs> I've got a one. Never. The only what? time he's ever got a good initiative. The only time he's ever got a good initiative was on the ship. The first I actually got a one as well. A tree got an 11. This is like the ones. Well, he, Devon has a minus one, so no matter what, it, you know, it's going to be minus one, but it sucks if you get a low number because it makes it even lower. Uh, so Ashley got a one, Devon got a one, Tree got a one one, 11. The kill by roll, or. Oh, yeah. Eight. Oh, yeah. Kill got an eight. Uh, cool. So, I'm going to have to name these Sturges as well. If you, the first one Sturge, the goes first. It's if you want to give Hugh, them names. Hugh Pew, Barney McGrew, hey. Cuthbert Biddup. <laughs> Sturge D is Hugh. Um, so Hugh is going to try and attack one of the kobolds. He's going to try and attack kobold B, 
means it flies over to do its first attack on Kobold B. Uh, Sturge D, and he's attacked. Is a blood drain. Where did that roll? Hannibal Lecter noises. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 20. Oh, wow. It actually rolled a 20. So it hits um, B for six damage. So B is nearly dead. He's like, as you see, like, it latch on to B. I take a bite. It's Riz. Can you help us? So it's, uh, um, it's Pew Pew. Barney McGrew, Cuthbert, Dibble, Grub. <laughs> you? This next I put, one I put is... it in the Discord. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's Pew Pew. Yeah, it's Pew Pew. They're twins. <laughs> right, so... Surge... A is Pew... Right, that's this one here. A is Pew. That first one was Pew as well, wasn't it? Sturge D. Yeah. Let's get Pew Pew. Can't hit my group. <laughs> and then well, I'll do it as it goes through each turn. Now Sturge B is Barney. Oh, that one, mate. I've got that one in there. That's, that's Barney McGrew, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, Barney McGrew. Yeah. <laughs> Surge B. Barney. Feel free to explain to your party why you have named them these as they do all this. I'll get the pew pew, but the Barney McGrew and onwards. Rhymes. <laughs> right, so uh, the first pew done his attack, and now pew B. Pew B. <laughs> pew B. I can't find pew B. <laughs> um, which is Sturge A, which is this one here, turns around, jumps towards Pilbo, and does his um, normal attack that he does, which is the blood drain attempt. Opens up its mouth biter to try and get you. It rolls a seven to hit. Yeah, no. Nah. And it misses. So it's suction. Yeah. Suction misses. Um, Barney McGrew turns, jump towards Devon. Yeah. And does. <laughs> <laughs> goes for the same. Thing, a blood drain and rolls an 18 to hit. Grazing it. <laughs> Nothing. What's your AC? No, now? You've got 19. 19. 19. 19. <laughs> this is so why you need to is... switch to sword and shield because you've gone 21. <laughs> So Matt, with the kobold, big in his hands, yeah. runs over to try and hit this um, Sturge B pew. Um, because they've both been five foot, it has the pack attack ooh, attacker advantage. Um, so he's going to do a dagger. To try to hit the Sturge. Um, oh, it was 23, the first one. So it hit the Sturge. And Sturge D is dead. He puts the dagger straight into his back. Blood splats back over the other one as he kills Sturge D. Sturge D's gone. Sturge E. 
which is Cuthbert. This one. And what's his name? Cuthbert. Cuthbert. Surge B. Cuthbert. Flaps towards the commotion. Ten. I think that's his place for moving it. So let's see, yes, we can't do an attack. It doesn't close enough. That needs one more square. So Cuthbert flies over towards the brothers. And then we have Tree Let's do attack. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <Yeah. laughs> Can I move Sturge out of the way? You're muted. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, so. <laughs> oh, it's there. Yeah, so I was trying to find out. You can attack anyone with your bow. Yeah. Everyone in that is within distance. Easy. I, I feel like it's just a random pick, isn't it? There's no strategy. Just randomly fire any of them. Yeah. Line of sight. This one near the bridge would be out of your line of sight. The only one, I think. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah. Um. Probably the guess... ones closest to the cobalt would be best to target, seeing as we're trying to save them. Yeah. Move that one. But you were just. That but. Cut, cut, but... Yeah, you can take take a shot at Cuthbert. What was he again? Sturge E. Um, okay. I'm going to use my longbow. Longbow. Uh, oh, 25. Nice. Jesus. Is that a crit? Oh no. no, it wasn't. Because then you're plus good. seven, don't you? Yeah. And Fair four. four. <laughs> so I think that still kills one. Though. And your arrow rips through Cuthbert, blood splatters everywhere, and Cuthbert is dead. Kaput. Cuthbert is kaput. Because remember, these Sturges, they're only good in numbers, but in general, their hit points were rubbish. Oh, yes. They suck. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Literally, yeah. Uh, boom, boom. His turn? Kilbo. Oh, ah. um, I'm going to perform bullshittery. <laughs> <laughs> so, first things first. <laughs> Advantage attack on the one in front of me. For 21. Oh, 21 hits, yes. Oh, yeah, it definitely hits, yeah. 21 hits. Oh. Um, and then just a tragillion damage. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's like eight plus six. Is, the way I describe how you how you kill Barney McGrew is as you hit him with your what are you using your daggers. I'm using my rapier. Yeah, just your rapiers as you slice through it. You now people make cocktails and you shake them, and if the lid's slightly loose and you shake, it just goes everywhere. <laughs> That's what it's like as you pierce the stomach of these blood suckers. It just goes. Um, yeah. And then oh, I will gone. disengage to here. Um, and then, because I have two weapon fighting, I can now fire my light crossbow. <laughs> Bullshittery. Um, so I'm going to shoot this one. 
This hasn't got a name yet. Um, so let's oh, it won't need one. It's about to die. Um, just, for my, <laughs> just for my sheet, I'll need it. Um, third, third C. Well uh, and C would have been Dibble. Dibble. So he hits 19 with a whopping 6 damage. <laughs> uh, 19 hits and sticks. Six damage. In nope. exploding into pieces. He's gone. I got an equip. That mod grabbed. <clears throat> Was that Dib- Is that Dibble? That was Dibble, yeah. Um, yeah. Dibble didn't last, last very long. Bro. I still need two more names after this as well. I'm going to name. Uh, C. Sturge F. This one um, will be Grub. I got, I got it, I got it. Um, one could be called. We say you still need two names. Two more, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Monica. Lewinsky. <laughs> Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> uh, yes. You're as good as any, I guess. <laughs> Monica. Lewinsky. And Lewinsky, second one. Yeah. They, they come together to suck presidents, apparently. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no relations with that woman. <laughs> now, man, I don't think you heard me the first time. <laughs> I did not ever relate you <laughs> that woman. No sir, you, Bob. What? Ah. Uh, carry on. Two boys finished with his um, mischievousness. Yep. Skull Dug, we called it. Um, I was dead. Winged B, Cobalt, is going to chuck a rock at. Um, who's left? He's going to go for Grub. So he's going to try and chuck a rock at Grub. Um, oh, I'm not muted for that. Drama. <laughs> Which throws his rock, completely misses, spins past Kilbo's head. Luckily, he's not tall enough. It goes through the gaps of the two draggers off into the water. And then we have Monica. Monica comes over to Kilbo and tries a, a, a suck tag. <laughs> Blood drain. Uh, 14. New. She's lost her ability, I guess, now. Um, yeah. Actually, this is Gilbo. Astrid! And kill everyone. Are you aiming your. Guardian Bolt. Yeah. So this one, the blue one? Blue one. Okay. Um, oh. I've got loads of, loads of circles just come up there. What, Grub? Was that? Oh, yeah. This one, yeah. Cool. Yes. Twenty. Twenty, yes. Absolutely. Oh, you fry. I know you like the air fry now, but yeah, you fry right into absolute crispy sturge. 
absolute crispy sturge. Grub is no more. Poor old grub. Um, did you want to stay where you are? Um, no. Still move. You can move your um, full movement if you wish to, or stay where you are. The Vaughn. So the one in front. Yeah, you've got the one back next to him. You've got Pew in front of you. Yeah. Okay, so he grabs Pew. <laughs> slams it on the floor like and pushes into it as like a like a foot stump or with his hand. Okay. Um, that, that would be an oh, unarmed no, strike, I believe. Yes. Because you're essentially... Oh. Uh, unarmed? Yeah. Yeah. Check. Twelve? No, misses. So you grab him and it <laughs> manages to flap, flap off your arms and get away. Get away. <laughs> this is like a mosquito. Why can you never... Grasp the damn bloody thing. <laughs> it's a little bit slippery. Um, Sturge D. <laughs> so that was Sturge A. To Sturge A, just go to, to suck you. Blood drain. No. Oh. I don't think you can even roll a 19, can it? Let's get to natural 28 kit. <laughs> Which it misses. And then we go to Wing Cobalt A, who chucks a rock straight at that one as well to try and help you guys out. Oh, that, that's wedding. So uh, Mac just throws the rock, and it literally just tears through um, Pew, and his blood just explodes full frontal into your face. Um, so you are absolutely covered in it, um, Devon. This is not my favourite type of cologne, but thank you. <laughs> I think I've smelled it for us in the past couple of weeks, right? <laughs> there is moving out your way. So we have Monica and the Winsky left. And it now bounces through to a tree. Okay. Do I move? Does it make any difference if I move in closer at this point? Uh, not if you're yeah. still using your bow. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm going to um, aim for the one. That is closest. Monica? Yeah. Take your okay. shot. That's to hit 26. <laughs> yeah, that is. That's a natural 20 you got there as well, didn't you? Oh, yeah, that's me. I think no. 19. Uh, 20. Dead. 26 is going to be what? 19. <laughs> That's it. Let me double check. I'm sure Tree gets a critical. She rolls a 19 or a 20, does she? Yes. It yes. hasn't come up on the. It hasn't come up on the roll from a D20. But what is that she's got? Done. She's got fines. Um. Yeah, I think Tree. If you roll a 19, you get um. A crit as well. You get a 19 or 20 for crit. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? Um, so before you have to get a natural 20 to do double damage, you can do it on 19 and 20. Let me just double check if you have to put that now. And lower is it by a 1, basically. Yeah. You, you yeah. Your... Which is better for you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because she's a champion, isn't she? So yeah, at third level, 
Your weapon attack score a critical hit on a roll over 19 or 20. Nice. I don't know why I didn't do that. Unless you've not clicked it. <laughs> yeah, longbow's a hit. She rolled a 19. It hasn't critted it. Why that is? Might not be built into this system for it. It should be. In terms of the character, or is it? Because it's probably the only thing she could have picked. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, Shade. Take to remember in the future if you get 19 or 20, you mm. get the crit. Uh, let's kill those go. Oh. Uh, well, I can't do my ball jittery now. Oh, okay. Um. You think you probably just kick it and it'll probably die of these things? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to run over it to it. And. Oh, no, wrong button. Ignore that. <laughs> it's that one. 19. <laughs> yep, hit. Oh, I did four damage. How do you finish it off? I slice it, it in two. It. Straight down the middle. Or across the middle. Are you going down vertically? I, I cut it into, an, uh, into a K. <laughs> <laughs> Zorex style. <laughs> nice blood splatter all over the floor. The dirges are all gone. When did you Dirges cut tea into it, Kilbo? <laughs> it, it was a K. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So you see, obviously, there's Mech and Min. They walk over. Min's a little bit worse for wear after that. Biting. So Min sort of does a bit of healing on him, put some bandage, wrapping him up. And they're like, ah, you saved us. These surgeons are a nightmare. I'm Mech. This is my brother, Min. We're so thankful. What brings you to this part? Uh, what did the priest lady say we had to do? I don't know, something about a blue dragon or a blue worm or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> did you come from Dragon's Rest, did you say? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah, our sister. My daughter still lives there. Oh, yeah, that one. Yes. Yes. We, we ended on bad terms. We still is think it, fondly of us. Is it no because you've joined the Blue Dragon? Is, is that why? Ah, so you know about our leader. I mean, you've painted your face blue. It's kind of obvious. Ah, you are. Did, it, did you Not... cut off all wings or something? You should be ashamed of yourself. Wait. You're very smart, um, Arthlin. You're very smart to notice the blue paint. And we didn't cut off Mida's wings. They were burnt by a previous dragon. They were melted. Uh, uh, no, it wasn't the blue one. It wasn't the blue one. Our leader, we call him by the name Sparkrender. Spark Render. You off. Spark, we can introduce you to Spark Render if you wish. Um, but if you're here for other reasons, look, we are thankful for you keeping us alive. We can't help you fight Spark Render. We will have to fight with him. I see. But we will not attack you now. We are thankful for, for your help. So one of them looks like he's on low hit points, right? Um, so Min was on one hit point. He's been healed back up to four at the moment. Um, but they're not going to attack you because you know Minor and you saved their lives. They've got no hostility towards you. And they are winged kobolds. Winged. 
Go Wolves. Is there a reason why I said that? Winged kobolds. They didn't fly away. They can fly. And why might that be good? Because they'll fly away. So as you look around, can... between, apart from the dragons you see and the um, obelisk on the, the ceilings, there's a wooden bridge to the northwest. There's a massive tower to the northeast. And to the southwest, there is an opening of two dragons. The mouth opens with a hexagonal gap in their mouthpiece again. Very similar to the ones you passed earlier on the bridge. Um, but obviously, um, Kilbo took the key out and the bridge disappeared, put it in, it reappeared. What a technicality, boys. I don't want to give any more hints. But if you've got winged kobolds... <laughs> <laughs> I have two what questions for you, Mr. Winged Cobalt. Yes. Number one, do you know where Tarek hid his gold? I don't know who Tarek is. Fucking yeah. Number two, can you go <laughs> get the key for us? The and then fly it back over. You are a smart one. So, I, the, the, the hearing is the fire just walks back and just lifts the tree up and just move, moves them around. Well done. <laughs> it's better than a cobalt. The cobalt is about to say, I'll get the key now for you, but your friend may disappear. <laughs> that should be fun. <laughs> so, Mech flies over. Grabs the key. As he grabs the key, flies back and hands Kilbo the, the key again. You see... disappear as he hands me the key I shank him shank him does... oh thank oh, you very shit. much <laughs> oh god this is getting graphic now isn't it I'm, I'm oh, not god. I retract my statement. <laughs> I'll just go <laughs> go open this bridge. And, uh, they going to go let the big one yes. know, correct? Oh, so yeah. You are... Go tell your big mate uh, that we're here. Go, 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 <laughs> little, little cobalt creatures, come here. Come, come here. <laughs> that's, that's reaching in his backpack for the rope. So Mech and me and walk over. Put your hands, yes. put, put, put your hands together. You know, like, like you, you, you're going to receive a present. But I want you to do it together. Like a big bowl. Make a big bowl together. <laughs> Roll your um, persuasion. <laughs> At least something's working tonight. Oi. So, so they go, okay. They put their arms together. In, 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 run and run. Tie, tie, tie. <laughs> Both put their arms are tied together. What's the hand broke? Right. We, we, <laughs> why? What is it? Why? What, what are you doing? Just follow me, follow me. Is it wait? It looks around. Is there anything to like tie him to? You could tie him to them statues that you are standing next to. The, the grey ones, like the if they would hold statues. And then the leg. Mech and Ming, <laughs> and they'll tie Basically, to this. They're tied to it. <laughs> So what is their they're going to attempt once to try and um, use their strength, but they've got very low strength anyway. Just to see if they can pull themselves out of it. Let me just quickly do a strength check then. Is that a minus two? 
So Mech and Ming, first one rolls that, and then there's a second one. I said, I can still rock to when I break free. Um, oh, actually, so Min doesn't break through. He's stuck to it, but Mech manages to get his arms loose, and he's like, why have you done this? Ah, uh, for God's sake. For my I, God's sake. We, I, I've already told you that he won't attack you. We're very yes, grateful for you helping our sister. You're, you're, you're friendly with the blue one, and I, I, I don't want to have killed you as well as killed them. It's for your own good. Go back. Go back to the statue and pretend that you was tired. Next said, We will leave for a period of time so I can heal my brother. We will not help you fight the blue one. But you won't fight us with them. So he's like, we will not help you fight the blue one. And we are not hostile to you. We are thankful for your saving our lives. Ah! Untie, untie the rope. So they fly over to the other side and wait there <coughs> so he can heal his brother further. Uh, right, I put the key in the thing. Yep. Yeah. So you place the key into the dragon um, thingy box. Do it. Um, and you hear it roar into life. <laughs> he does that. Jesus, a that's a big old bridge. That is, yeah. I tried shrinking it, but you brought in, um, you brought in a line. You try. And then I shall search this room. Oh, that's lost. I'll leave it at that. That bridge is a while that, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. Um... So the rhythm of the waves echoes throughout the cramped tower. Part of the floor has crumbled away, dropping off into the chamber below. Amid the rubble, collapsed bookcases jut out at odd angles, and mouldering books are strewn across the floor. Anything good? Do you want to investigate? Sorry. Um... Most of the books have fallen apart. There are some damaged books, but there's... What's your investigation score? Oh, I only rolled a seven. Or do you want my, my passive, which is 13? Your 13 would be fine, yeah. Yeah, go with that. Um, so you do notice a book, a uh, black one. So if you pick up the book... Yeah. Um, it's a small black journal with an ornate lock that remains <laughs> intact. Um, now, to if you wish to examine the book, you will need to do a wisdom perception check. Now, if you've got other people that can help you with this, it might be worth working as a team with things around here, um, utilizing people's scores. But yeah, you need to roll a wisdom perception check if you decide to examine the book it's in your hands. Um, I'll have another. Or quick if look. someone, if someone's got a good score with that, they can stand next to you and you can roll an advantage on it. Yeah, uh, I'll have another quick look around. If there's nothing useful, I'll wander back with the book and be like, "Hello, look at this book. <laughs> Help me open." <laughs> Interesting. Is anyone else checking out that room as well? Is there anything good? So, <laughs> Moldy book, if, people want to go and, if you roll, uh, obviously your investigation was seven, people can check it again with an investigation. I'll roll an investigation. You need to go into that tower and you need to do an investigation check. <laughs> Actually, no. 
So you've got three and Devon left. Okay, Devon. Yes, so Devon, you look around and you notice a loose brick in the northwest wall. You pull the brick out and there's a hidden compartment. Now, inside the compartment, you pick out a bottle, a blue bottle, and a pouch. Inside the pouch is 10 gold pieces. And the blue bottle, if you'd like to examine it. All right. Is a potion of resistance. Specifically... Specifically, a potion of resistance to lightning. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Put that in there. Uh, and go. I don't know if it appears under your show on there, but yeah, the potion of resistance to lightning you've received. Um, yeah, and a pouch of 10 gold pieces. So Kilgore's can now come back and you're holding this black book, yeah? Yeah. So what do you wish to do then? You've um, got the book. Does anyone want to help no, him? Someone got a particular good wisdom score that can help Kilbone? Or I stand next to him and wisdom. if you stand with him and work together, you can roll an advantage as well to try and Would you want the passive or do you want me to roll wisdom? Um, it's a wisdom check, yeah. Perception. What's your, what's, perception. Your, what's your perception? Is it higher than two? Uh, the passive is 11. Um, uh, plus one. Six. One, one. Um, if you just help me then, because then I can get the advantage instead, because mine's plus mm -hmm. two. I'm a roll advantage. Roll advantage. Oh Your no! Wisdom perception check. Twelve. Twelve. It's not enough. Um, but you can roll twice, can't you? What was that? That was a two. Roll twice. <coughs> the other one I rolled was a three. <coughs> oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, six and a twelve. It's just not enough. Has anyone else got good perception? What's your perception? Oh, you got three? Thirteen. Roll your um, perception check. Yeah. Not doing anything. You click the, the number and it should do it. Yeah. I'm clicking it, but it doesn't do it. Hmm. Yes, you've got a, you've got a um, plus three in your wisdom, haven't you? One second. ashley has got a plus three in her wisdom. Which might help. Uh, no. You you want passive? Not passive, no. Um, this one. Wisdom perception. Yeah, the one in the centre. You get perception. Thirteen. Oh, that's. That's a save. Need the skill. The middle one. Skill. Oh no. <laughs> so it'd be. I can't do it on my iPad. Has rolled on my iPad. She rolled a one. <laughs> it's it's not enough. Um, tree, did you want to have a try? And... Yeah. Nineteen. Yeah. There you go. Done the right one. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> you no, did a wisdom it... check, but it'll do. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. Um, <laughs> check. You, 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 you look at the book with Kilbo, and you see a small arcane room engraved above the keyhole on the journal's lock. So the key, there's an arcane room engraved above the keyhole. So it's a only... Um it's got a lock, it's got arcane rune engraved above the keyhole. If only we had a maze. I'm saying that I'm saying that word like that on purpose, arcane. So you throw it at Greg. <laughs> does anybody have I think Devon might have what you need. I've got Arcana of plus one. Devar Mosher Arcana. Serious. So if you wanted to see if it was a magical item, what would you need to do? Oh, um, uh, detect magic. Detect magic. Yep. So if somebody's got detect magic, <laughs> which I thought Devon had, didn't he? Yeah, I've just been waiting. I just didn't want to interrupt what I knew. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, no, I do. Um, you uh, cast so, magic. Um, yeah, I'll click cast. Oh, I clicked it twice. Yeah, so I cast it. So you cast the tech magic over this book inside Kilbo's hand as he holds it, and it starts to glow. And then you see a faint aura flashing around the actual keyhole. So, the rune <laughs> and the keyhole is actually a magical trap that would have triggered if you'd ho opened the book straight away. So, if you <clears throat> roll your um, history or religion on this book. Uh, let's see, what would be better? Oh, history. Let's do history first. And can someone also, because you're all together on this book, roll a, a intelligence arcana check as well? 18. Is that the intelligence one? Yeah. I've got an 18 right, so, for history. So. so by looking at this together, you, you know that this is a long lost book and the key is also long lost as well. Um, tree sort of goes, oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> the intelligence arcana check as well. You look and you've what did you get 18. You have an idea of how to disarm the trap, and you work out together that if you carefully scratch over the rune with a dagger or a sharp piece of wire, that will disarm the magical trap. Hmm. What if I use the tip of an arrow? <laughs> yep. <coughs> you have to scratch the rune off. Yeah. And then you would have to use your tools to pick the lock and pass the scary check. Yeah. Uh, would you like a sleight of hand for that? Um, yeah. So, yeah. 24. 24. So you scratch the rune off and the aura light that was there starts to dim away from it. So you scratch it fully off with the arrow. The arrow is now unusable. So you chuck the arrow um, and you now use your thieves tools to um, pick the lock and obviously you've disarmed the trap at the same time. So you see a little puff of smoke come up and it would have been a poisonous gas um, but it didn't release. So inside the journal it contains star maps and a note on experiments with magic. One passage is underlined near the start of the journal. It reads in an archaic dialect of common Two ye four scholars point your eyes towards the dragon's light. 
for it guides your descent into knowledge. So I'll copy and paste that. Haha, <laughs> I'm going to be a wizard. Close the book and put it in my bag. Paste it on Discord and on the Deep Bowl 20 as well. That's what it says. Bless you. Should it be Ascent into knowledge? Depends. Yeah. They could be Warlocks. Da, da, da. <laughs> oh, it could be a clue. We're going downstairs. We're going into the basement. You never know. Um, it could be actually something to look out for. I'm going to move the key to this dragon to bring that bridge back up for later. So you're turning off the one you just came from? Yep. And then you're turning on Um, you find me clicking as a button. I think we <laughs> check this one. So, you want to head towards... Um... <laughs> the top left one. So, a rickety bridge made of driftwood and ropes spans the 15-foot gap between the rotunda, so between... D2 in this area here, like the main center area structure. Skittering sounds and whispers come from inside the ruined tower. Gaps in the stone are patched over with wooden planks and Fred Bear cloth. So as you look inside there, there are three kobolds and two winged kobolds. Um, they're polishing their sling bullets. They're keeping busy. Um, they're looking at you a bit hostile as well as they see you approach this rickety bridge. Um, let me just open it up here so you can see it. Mm -hmm. so they're hostile but they're not attacking so they're not but they're just doing their, their jobs. It looks like they're pairing not just their weapons, but also their paint on their face and sort of reach realistically. They're preparing stuff as well. Hmm. We should talk to them. Ask how they are doing. Okay. Hello. <laughs> what do you want then, dwarf? Uh, what do you want? What are you doing? Come closer, I can't see you or hear you properly. What are you doing here? I'm not talking to you while you hide behind walls. Oh, okay. I'll move. We are preparing our weapons. Arsene and Who else is wow. with you? The one just pops his head around the corner. Hello! Um, <laughs> a halfling, a dwarf, some shiny <laughs> human. <laughs> and what's the. Oh, an elf as well. Brilliant. What do you want? We are busy. Uh, two things. <laughs> one, do you know where there's a vast sum of gold that's been hidden? Uh, we have no time for gold right now. We're preparing for the blue one. Why are you preparing for the blue one? He's our leader. He promises us great, great achievements. 
I see. He is marvelous. Have you not seen him? He fires lightning. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, fire big... lightning? Uh, yes. You can? <clears throat> yeah. Can, can you really? Yeah, you should fear us. We are very <laughs> powerful. More powerful oh. than your blue dragon. You should run away. So if you... If you roll your charisma intimidation check. Uh, that's 21. That works, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Just don't do anything to us. Just let us tidy and prepare our paint and we will do nothing. Just don't hurt us with your lightning powers, please. Okay. Well, we're going to go back across. You stay here. Don't get involved in any way. We will not go near you. We don't like lightning against us. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> that worked really well. <laughs> so, yes, they, they will stay in their little cobalt camp. It's kind of their place where they mainly sleep and hang out. Um, they promise to stay away. Um, the intimidation check worked. Wonders. <laughs> Next. So, <laughs> to let you know where you've, where you've been. You've been to the camp. You've been to the isolated study. You have the main centerpiece. Um, so, so, inside this room where you're standing, this main room, after all this fighting that you saw, um, there is a golden sculpture in the center, the rotunda, um, which was the astronomical model used for research in the, the past. Um, if anyone wants to do some checks on that, like intelligence arcana, they can. And there are also five dragon effigies, which you've seen these different colors. They are five dragon effigies in the center. Which have different um, things as well. And then where you're currently standing, the observatory tower is 45 feet, feet above the ocean surface and it's 15 feet above the rotunda. So when you look, the cobalts have constructed a pulley lift system, um, bring up the normal cobalts to the area, and the wingless ones can just fly up there. Is that this bit? Do you want to? That's the, yes. So that is 15 foot above. That little wooden bit is a rope pulley system. Wing cobalts can just fly up there. The normal cobalts have to use the pulley. But in that area as well, you've got these five effigies and you've got this gold thing in the middle. That, um, can be examined if you wish to check there first before you use it else. Mm, yes. So. Golden sculpture. It's, if you wish to check that, uh, it's an uh, intelligence arcana check. 19. Oh, okay, I got 10. <laughs> so, 10 <laughs> trying to, so trying to steal like, my roll. <laughs> I should like this. Mm. Yeah, that, that won't work, probably now. Um, Kilbo. 19, so he does know. So the sculpture depicts the planet of Toril, which is the world of the Forgotten Realms. Its moon is Salune, the sun, and seven other planets, as well as one comet with a very eccentric orbit. Um, Gilbo examines this, and he sees that the current position suggests that the comet will soon pass very close to Toril. I'm a so you believe just, that does it move? This comet passing is part of um, the ritual. So it's called the King Killer Star, and it controls the destiny of dragons. And this will allow the blue one, you think, to he believes will um, help him achieve his ritual. So the history of this comet that passes, and the dragons believe 
it controls the destiny of them. And it's called the King Killer. So now you know that that center room is part of this obviously ritual place where they're hoping to achieve what Spark Wender wants to achieve. Does the statue move? So the thing's on the seed in that thing, but the other statues, they are solid. Um, they've been put together sort of um, by a rubble sculpted by the kobolds and then they've tried to paint them into the different colours to represent the different types of uh, famous dragons. So they were arranging them when they were attacked by the Sturvies so they didn't fully get to um, finish them. But each effigy has a name written on them. So if you uh, have a look and read, you can see what they say. Pew, pew. So oh, the blue one. Cut the dribble. So then you, if each person just rolls um, the investigation, <laughs> and read, I can tell you which one's which. <laughs> I wasted a nap twice. Well, that's it. <laughs> So what colours have you stand next to? Shout out which ones you've got and I'll tell you. Um, I'll go with red. A blue. Red. So red is Sharuf. So Sharuf is the one that in the original story was fighting and was put underneath um, Stormwreck Isle and they believe he's still alive now breathing Sharuf. up fumes and stuff. Which Sharuf. Sharuf is on um, fire. <laughs> did not shoot what colour is the blue uh, one on is blue. the blue one is El Denimir written inside that one um, who's got gold tree I think tree tree is it, I could so tell tree, it is. tree reads it and goes piss clack 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 Lucky and if somebody else wants to roll, they can clarify what actually is Tria said. <laughs> Tria slightly misread it. Yeah. Kilbo. Nope, I can't read that. He goes, Tria's not clacky about It's actually. It's actually. Actually, could have clacked a little <laughs> Devon or Ashton? Does anyone clarify? Which one, which one is it? The gold one. No, no, investigation, right? Yeah, you rolled a six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I clicked on the right one. I was just making sure. Yeah. Oh, he's like, no, he's like, no, don't, 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 so the gold one is that name, and the bronze one like, like, you recognise. The bronze one you know before, because that's the one Runera showed you the um, statue in that Dragon's Rest. That's Astalagan. And the brass one is Turadia. Mech and Ming shout across them. Um, we didn't get to finish these, but these are Spark Render's instructions. Please don't break them, and they're part of our ritual. Oh, I'm a break them. So you've got them. <laughs> and that is that area. Um, I'm going to have another look in the book quickly. Is this uh, structure and the dragons, is that like, is there a picture of that somewhere in this book? No. Um, the book, as that quote which I sent in there, Devan was kind of in the right path that maybe one of these rooms as a descent into knowledge. Hmm. That's mainly what the book is showing you. So, without saying too much, you've, you've done all the rooms, so you haven't missed it. There's one more place you need to go. But what kind of room would be knowledge? Observatory, let's go upstairs. 
And what, like, what, what do we associate as knowledge? A building or a room? What is it? Where would you go for knowledge? Library. Yeah. Oh, I need to go back to the other room. So maybe there is a hidden library or something. I said too much, man. Um, so to get up there, um, you need to use a pulley system because none of you can fly. Where's the pulley system? So the strongest ones you want to, if you're going up all together, you want your strongest ones to really pull it. So if um, Astrid and Tree can jump on that pulley thing, we can um, think. I think Tree's the strongest. Was it Devon? Devon or Tree? 16 plus 3. Yeah. yeah, so Devon and Tree pull their strength. You roll their strength. You should be able to pull everyone up. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lucky he's standing, Lucky he's standing <laughs> together so you can... You can roll advantage because you're, you're together, working together on this one. So you pull up and it sort of <laughs> drops down a little bit. I think everyone sort of braces themselves. Wait, wait, wait. Are you going up or down? Which way are we going? <laughs> 10, okay. Okay, so I'll take this. A 10 out, out of both, yeah, so you... Out of interest. In. Yep. Okay, I wouldn't have added anything. I'm just checking. <laughs> My minus one. I was just wondering if I could outroll both of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might have done the first one, the five. Um, so, rays of light bounce across the remains of this tower, stained glass dome, making iridescent colours shimmer across the crumbled marble walls. Gilded lines and jeweled inlays form a detailed star map spanning the dusty floors. Four. Alabaster statues of scholars stand around the perimeter of the room, their expressions worn with time. Each 10 foot tall statue is pointing or gesturing in a different direction. Held in the northeast corner of the tower is a lift blue dragon, lightning arcs around its horns and snout as he slumbers amid a scattered collection of coins and glittering jewels. Son of a so bitch, got my money. <laughs> <laughs> so as you pull up and you get to the top, you see this giant blue dragon asleep. Snoring, covered in gold. Um, Fuck you, wannabe smell. So this blue dragon, which is sleeping, is what you know to be um, the leader, Bark Render, the one you saw fly through. So you have a choice what you wish to do now. You have a sleeping dragon laying there. Well, I know you shouldn't tickle a sleeping dragon, but there's nothing saying you shouldn't stab one in the face. <laughs> so. What does everyone want to do? So, until you make a decision, the sleeping dragon, you can fight, you can run, you can sneak. Um, there is a secret room somewhere. There is a, another dragon, remember, that's friends of Runara somewhere. This part of the mission is to find Adron and save him. Um, that's mainly it. So, you, there's a secret room. There is another dragon you need to save, and this dragon is asleep. So somewhere there's another dragon as well. So have a think about how you approach the room and what you're looking for and how you... I think I've found what I'm looking for. <laughs> Get, Gold. Yeah, yeah. Have a look for a switch or a hidden door or something, will you? The, the hidden doors probably under the dragon. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I mean, like what? Um, to ye, four scholars, point your eyes toward the dragon's light before it gives you the sentiment to nudge. So, 
does there look like a specific point on the floor where there's a light? Or is it like an astrological thing? Does the book so, give me any more help? <laughs> uh, what are these statues? Are they scholars here? I assume they're scholars. They are, they look... are they yep. all looking into the center, correct? Right, and remember when you walked in, they are pointing. So let me just copy the description of the scholars bit so you can actually see what was written. It's, in, it's on roll 20. The eyes point towards the dragon's light. For the yeah. Gesturing in a different direction. So are, they, are their arms sort of like pointing straight out, or are they slightly down, or up, or just straight out? Yes, if you investigate the um, scholars, you can see that when they're, when they're pointing, they look in the same direction. Um, anyone want to roll another investigation? Mm. That do. Um, yeah. <laughs> you can see that these can be rotated and turned. So they can be t uh, rotated and turned to point to where you wish to point them. So turn, turn and so he's pointing towards the dragon. That would do, I guess. That's the best guess we've got so far. Is there any, any patterns on the floor or anything? Or is it literally just... Or in the walls or ceiling... So you want them to be pointing towards that their mark is on the floor representing that um constellation which we mentioned. And the big one is the comet. So you kinda ah. want them pointing towards uh, point towards the comet. The comet. So be the comet, yeah. 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 Okay. So Where's the each comet? Each person needs to rotate. There's four statues in there, so you can all rotate. Oops. Your statues. That's it. So you'll rotate. These don't turn these statues, but oh, should I should I go for that one? Because I can stealth over there. Let me mm. let me roll a stealthy boy. Uh, I can't see it. There's a dice in the way. Twenty. <laughs> so I was like. <laughs> Right, so that one rotates and it clicks. Next person want to rotate their one? Yeah. What do I have to roll to rotate it? Um, well, you just got to use your strength for it to make sure you can twist it in line. Okay. Oh, I no. Got it too. <laughs> Does someone want to give Tree a hand? <laughs> As it's sort of, I've used Tree realise he's pushing it the wrong. It only turns one way, maybe. Maybe it's it the other way. Uh, what about this way? Does it work this way? No, no, it feels stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Ed, you got to turn it this way. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to wake up the dragon? <laughs> We're all just stood there like... <laughs> Remember? Shh. Shh. The dragon's asleep. As it... You hear this in the background. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Let's have a look. Let's see what I can do. Um... Hmm. The dragon, <laughs> dragon is still asleep. So is it just one we've managed to turn then? Yeah. One's you know, one's turn so far. I I'm I'm gonna 
stick a candle in the dragon's head. <laughs> right, so the second one turns <coughs> and he's locked in place. And you see a, a light glimmer in the centre of the floor where that constellation is. Um, but because of the noises, uh, I will roll for the dragon again. If it reaches a certain number, then we need to do a stealth check to make sure that we don't wake him. But that's a really low number. Fine. I'm going to try and move that last one. 12. So that last one clicks into place. Um... Right. <laughs> it op- a big glow appears, all the lights do up the floor as it gradually opens up to make a centre stairwell leading down. And the dragon falls down the uh, stairs. Get there. As it opens up, the dragon rolls again. Everybody needs to do a stealth check to go down there without actually waking the dragon now. If you choose to go down there. Uh, 15. Oh, no, Astrid. <laughs> Astrid, you do have your inspiration if you wish to use it. So what should I do? Um, yeah. Roll twice. twice? Okay. Yeah. So you... Um, oh, that's bad though. Right, now it's just ever so faithful, stealthy Devon to go. I'm going to quaff the uh, <laughs> lightning resistance potion. <laughs> You're that unconfident about your spell. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, he's, he's practically got uh, uh, post-traumatic stress at this rate. From all of the stuff checks in the in the past, so yeah, he drinks it just in case. Um, I guess. Oh I'm no! <laughs> clang, 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 clang. You do have inspiration skill. Quick, be inspired. You do. For, for, for uh-huh. a very, very. A moment that I most need it is that this moment, or using it to attack it would be more more worthy, right? Mm. It depends because everyone's downstairs now. You're alone up there, ah. so if he waits and attacks, it's only going to be you taking right, the full. But if you can get down there without him hearing you, you can deal with the secret room, and he'll still be asleep, hopefully. Right. It's just, I feel that it would be a waste. I, I know it's gonna go. <laughs> oh, okay, alright. Oh, six, yay! I'm glad I, I'm glad I used my inspiration for pointless time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be very quiet now. Clang, clang. <laughs> you just see what they put clang. their DC as. Um, I don't think I could even try and let you get down there for a stick. <laughs> I like I'm the big knife or something. <laughs> um, right. I'm going to see what Bark Render rolls. If it rolls. Oh, no, you actually look like you get down. Just in time, but Spark Render is awake now. So if you do come back up, the dragon now will be awake. It hasn't seen you this time. You got down, made enough noise to wake it, but not enough for it to steam. Uh, that wouldn't have helped, so, but technically you should be rolling with disadvantage as well. <laughs> I don't say that. Oh, yeah. I did. I did. Yeah, cause, I did. Oh, yeah, because you got the arm on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's minus right. one. So that's what it's been rolling with. It would have been a seven, but I... yeah, no, you you should have rolled two d20s and picked the lowest. Pick the lowest score. Oh, I thought he'd done it already because he's got the disadvantage next to it. Uh, it's only been rolling one dice for you. Oh. I don't know. If anybody goes to the bottom right of the map, you'll see a little oh, uh, little zero. section right, here. Let's go with this zero. It's zero zero. I've moved Kilbo there. 
that's where everybody needs to go. Bottom right of the map should appear now. It's like a little tower. Everybody see that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, the blue dot is walking away for you, I think. I was putting it into where they should see it, and they're just sort of following it now. <laughs> <laughs> so stale air heavy with the smell of old parchment floods your nostrils the walls are lined with shells stuffed with a, the wrong one sorry, that's not stuffed with old tombs and yellowing scrolls glass cases toppled over and shattered have strewn their contents across the stone floor the sound of splintering wood echoes through the space and a moment later you see an agitated bronze dragon the size of a bear picking himself up from the wreckage of the dark old death he apparently crashed into uh, there. hello uh, welcome uh, who are you have you come to assist me Yes. We were Where sent by... What's her name? Rayla? We know her. She's a good... A good soul. We had bad terms when I left. But she was right. Have you seen Spark Render? Uh, yeah, I think he's asleep upstairs. Not anymore. <laughs> Out for <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> right. So he's up there. Ours. <laughs> oh, um, I've been trying to break out for these stones, oh, but I can't get out. Uh, is there any way you can assist me? Have you tried the stairs? Yeah. I believe Stark are under in the try and kill me before we get these these rituals started or maybe during his ritual <sighs> he thinks that if he kills me he will get the power of all the dead dragons on the island transforming himself into the mighty draconic avatar yeah and he's happy to do this but I'm too weak to fight him right now maybe you can assist me to kill spark render sure is there anything useful down here so um mr do an mr. investigation Dragon, check around the library no uh 12. well no everybody do their investigations there's a dc score we need to hit for this one um Twelve's not quite high enough. Um, Twelve's not high enough. 20. Twenty is <laughs> right. So on your so Astrid and Devon, Stevis before Kilbo and Tridu. So you can take or show, but as you look around, um, you see a spell scroll. A um, battle axe, sorry, that's it. Sorry, yeah, a uh, spell scroll axe. and a battle axe. Yeah, Devon, do your, do your thing. Detect if it's magical or something. Yeah, yeah so if you do your detect... Is there anything... Um, what I'm looking for, is there anything... Uh, uh, anything yeah, so, unusual about the scroll and... Um, so the scroll obviously is magical and you can read it to see what it is. And when you open it, it's a spell scroll 
of hold person. And the battle axe <laughs> is a magical battle axe. It's a plus one battle axe. Take that. Um, Astrid. What's Astrid using? Weapon wise. I have a battle axe. Ah. She did. Oh, right. This is a plus one magical one. Oh, oh so better. Upgrade. <laughs> so it's like swap, so it's now, you know. I thought you was using a battle axe, but I wasn't sure. Um, so yeah, swap, swap that. So Astrid now has a plus one battle axe rather than a standard one. Uh, yes, so add that to your weapons and, equi yeah. and equip it. So make sure when you add it to your food, add it is to your it inventory and then... Just normal battle axe, if it's magical. Uh, that's a plus what? one. Yeah, say plus one. Makes Take plus one, yeah. Add, add it to your inventory and then make sure it's equipped. So that when you roll your attacks, you'll get the benefits of it, otherwise it won't go through. Can the paddler then use uh, a squirrel? Technically, uh, anyone can use that post. squirrel. I thought, I thought. Yeah, if you go to managing inventory <laughs> and search battle axes first of all. So really it's meant to be used by Greg, I think. Um I think because it's a skull a, a skull. A scroll. <laughs> it shouldn't matter. Anyone should be able to use it. Oh, for anyone.